put up forces of darkness that has converged to take Nigeria back to evil days have also failed. I am also full of gratitude to our Muslim brothers and sisters that are here present with us to pray for our dear country and our president. I salute their courage and also the unity of purpose that has been displayed so far in the course of the 40 days prayers of the interfaith and all faithful and all faithful. God in his infinite mercy will see us through these programs in Jesus' name. My dear brethren, the past 21 days have experienced quite some revelations from, for our dear country. And I dare stand on this altar to declare that President Muhammadu Buhari will return in 2019. Nigeria is, the path, is on the path to greatness. Nigeria shall not return to the days of lukewarmness again. One of such revelations was received on the 14th day of prayers. In that revelation, God appeared in a vision through one of his servants present with us here that President Muhammad Buhari will win the 2019 election. With a landscape, landslap across most states of the country, God showed the man of God three people hugging themselves. One of them clothed in a Yoruba attire, and one in Igbo attire, and one in Hausa attire. They hugged themselves tightly and that signified the unity of this country in the 2019 general election. And after the victory of the President Muhammad Buhari in that vision, there was also an eruption of jubilation across the six geopolitical zone in the country. President Muhammad Buhari was seen receiving handshake from world leaders. God also revealed to another servant of the Most High here with us that the killers of the innocent Nigerians will be brought to book very soon. The wrath of God shall visit them very soon. The blood of the innocent women and children that have been slaughtered in their prime by people who have sold their conscience and sold to the devil shall be disgraced and their household. God said that never again shall anyone that takes the life of innocent Nigerians goes unpunished. He vowed to unleash instant judgment on them. God also revealed through a prophet present here that the Nigerians should not make the mistake of voting those that have soiled their hand in the commonwealth of Nigeria. In the revelation of group of people, we are seen breaking into banks in Nigeria, taking away money that is meant for hospitals, school, and other crucial infrastructures. The same set of people, after breaking into the bank, started sharing the phone among themselves and feasting on a high table, while the rest of Nigeria suffers in lack. Brethren, President Muhammadu Buhari must remain beyond 2019. He shall enjoy good health. He shall lead Nigeria to the promised land. He shall enjoy favor from all over the world under his leadership. Nigerians shall witness tremendous progress. Boko Haram shall soon be a thing of the past. Those that have stolen from the country shall never go near the seat of power again. Nigerian is blessed and shall continue to be blessed. All the forces against President Muhammad Buhari, they shall fail. Thank you very much. I want to invite my brother, Iman Salahu, to share with us. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, we have been gathered here for what, for the first 21 days, praying for our beloved country and our President Muhammad Buhari, there is a need for a vigilance by adherents of the faith, of all faiths, to show every man that come with money to buy their 
consensus of seeking for prayer. Allah Most High has created the heavens and the earth and everything between them and he is the only owner of everything to be found there and of everything between them as well as we as well as of everything below the surface of the earth including the underground resources Allah the Almighty says in the noble Quran to him belongs all that is in the heaven and all that is on the earth and all that is between them and all that is under the soil Toha. O oh Allah we know nothing but that but what you teach us you are the unknown unknower the wise O oh Allah guide us what is good for us and benefit us from what you taught us and increase our knowledge